Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Psych MRI, and this is a 50-year-old male who has a one-week history of left-sided leg weakness. He also has had a bad headache and right eye photophobia and pain for a week. He finally came in to get an MRI scan to see what was happening, and we noticed that he had abnormal signal here in the right side of his brain. This is called a coronal flare sequence. This is an axial flare sequence. It's very sensitive to any abnormalities. Anything abnormal will usually show up as bright. And here we see the bright area that's abnormal involving the right insular cortex, part of the frontal lobe. And we note that this is predominantly involved in the cortex or gyrus. Right here, this band around the periphery. Normally, the cortex is very thin like this, ribbon-like around the periphery. The white matter is in the middle. It has a little a bit of white matter disease right here, a little splotch of abnormal signal in the white matter, but most of this process is involved in the cortex around here, around the periphery. And so on this view, we're not exactly sure what's going on. This could be ischemic, inflammatory, infectious, but we're going to do another sequence that um, is very sensitive for ischemia. So if people have strokes or ischemic um, accidents, this sequence will show the, abnormal, uh, the abnormality is very bright. Tumors and other pathologies won't show it nearly as bright. So here we go. We see this really prominent increased signal on the diffusion sequence. So this is consistent with ischemia or an infarction of the brain. So this patient has had a right middle cerebral artery territory infarction. This is the MCA or middle cerebral artery territory here. And we're going to look now at another sequence. This is called a T2 weighted sequence and we see the left internal carotid artery normal. This is a normal flow void. Flowing blood will look dark on this sequence. And the left ICA or internal carotid artery is open. But look at the right ICA. And we don't see the normal flow void, so it's uh, limited or no flow within the right internal carotid artery. And the ICA perfuses the right middle cerebral artery that we see has the infarction. This patient ordered a neuro package, so they also had MRAs of the neck and head, and this is what an MRA looks like. It looks just like an MRI scan, except for blood vessels show up as really bright. We see the normal flow in the left internal carotid artery, and we see absent flow in the right internal carotid artery. This is the basilar artery with flow within it, so uh, severe stenosis or occlusion of the right internal carotid artery. We take this data and we can reconstruct it like this, and this is the left side, the normal flow, and the right side, this absent the middle cerebral artery is this little thread-like vessel here, minimal flow within it. So this is the area that has the ischemia we saw in the MRI of the brain. Also, the patient had an MRA of the neck. And these are the raw data images, right vertebral artery, left vertebral artery. This is the left common carotid artery. And as we go up, we're going to watch that branch to two vessels. So one vessel going up, 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 up to two vessels. This is the internal carotid, external carotid. On the right side, though, we don't see that same progression. Here's the internal carotid, I'm sorry, the common carotid artery. As we go up, this blood vessel, the internal carotid artery has no flow within it, only the external. So occluded right, uh, um, internal carotid artery right at the origin. And we can see the same uh, finding. This is the left side. This is the raw data. We've manipulated it. We can rotate it. In, different directions. This is the vertebral artery on the left. This is that left common carotid artery turning into the internal carotid artery that goes up to the brain. And this is the external carotid artery. So this is the carotid bifurcation where we have the internal carotid artery originating. And this is the right side that's abnormal. We have the common carotid artery coming up. This is the external carotid artery, but the internal carotid artery, the ICA, is absent. So here's normal on this side, absent on this side. So this patient is a right um, internal carotid artery occlusion right from the carotid bifurcation, common place to get that. And a subacute right middle cerebral artery territory infarction. Thank you very much.